Okay, you guys, welcome to the very last video um, of our sew along. The last thing we're gonna do is attach the bodice to our pants or our bubble on both of the rompers that I've been working on today. And um, to, to do so, all we're going to do is with our rompers um, wrong side out still, we are going to slip our um, bodice inside and then we'll just adjust our gathers so that um, it lines up perfectly with our bodice. Now you remember this clip I told you guys to put on the bubble. This is what denotes the back. So when we are slipping our bodice in, we're gonna make sure that we slip the back in on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna slip that just inside and I'm gonna straighten the bodice out, okay? Now, I am going to grab a couple of clips and pins. All right, I've got my clips and pins. So where I like to start is on a side seam. So now that we've got this slipped in there, we know that our back for this bodice has these two seams here and our side seam is right here. So we're gonna match up these side seams and pin them or clip them together and we're gonna come over to this side seam and do the same. And I can already tell that we are going to have to loosen our gathers a little bit to match up with our bodice. And that's all we're gonna do here is just adjust our gathers so that it lines up all the way around with our bodice so that when we line these up we have the same amount but yeah not much that we had to adjust here we have the same amount of bodice and the same amount of um bottom so just even these out so once we know that we have the right amount, then we just kind of like scoot them around so that it's uniform. We have the same like um, tightness of our gathers as we go around. That's perfect. And let's do the back. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this. We can take this clip off now that we have the sides pinned we won't be undoing the sides until we are sitting at our machine. Okay, so I've loosened those up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and check this. By checking it, I just kind of see if when I pin it, when I just go around, if it lines up. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. So we're good to go here. I'm actually going to just plop that guy back on. All right. So these are good to go. So all we're going to do now is surge around this circle. And I am going to give you guys an optional step um, to add to your gathers a clear stabilizer. So what I have here is a clear elastic. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh my goodness, am I not recording? Oh, I am. Okay, it's just turned the wrong way. Let me flip this real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I had the, um, the camera was recording in the wrong way. So what I have here is a clear elastic. And I use this as a stabilizer anytime that I gather. And what you're going to do is when we sit down, 
at the serger or sewing machine, whatever you're using, we're going to start surging like this around the circle, okay? So your gathers, your bottom will be um, on the bottom of your seam and the bodice is going to be touching the presser foot, okay? So what I do is I slip the clear elastic underneath. So it needs to be touching your gathers, okay? And then as you start sewing, you just sew this on all the way around. And when you get to the end, you just clip it off and overlap, okay? So I will show that as we are attaching. So this one's ready to go. What I'm also gonna do is um, I'm going to pin the pants, which the, the pants, um, anything, any thing that you have, um, bottoms going to the tops. Now it's, it is the same process. You just repeat this process with the pants. The only thing is with the pants, you do not need to worry about whether, um, you do not need to worry about whether the um, front is the back or the back is the front. There's no, way to distinguish either one. There's no right or wrong on that. There is only a back of the bodice and a front of the bodice. Um, so whichever way you pick to lay your pants down is fine and dandy. So what I'm gonna do now is move these pants over here and our bodice already has some clips in it because remember this is open still we had to sew the side seams together. We sewed the main and the lining to, to one another. So if you open this up here, this would, would be open, okay? So we are going to pin, leave these pins here, or clips here, and we are going to open up our pants. I'm just gonna loosen these a little bit. Can already tell they're a little tight. Your serger will sometimes overgather just a smidge, depending on the weight of your fabric. If you're using like a thicker French terry, it won't do that. Um, you'll probably have to pull your needle um, strings to needle threads to. Um, gather it up just a little bit more if you're using a thicker fabric like French terry. But for cotton lycra, it works great. So I'm going to attach these here to our side seams on both sides. And then we're just gonna check it just like we did the other. Well, look at that. That is perfect. So I'm just going to even these out a little bit. I'm not loosening now. I am just evening um, the tightness so that if there's a place that's a little bit more tight and a place that's maybe a little bit more flat, that we get that evened out. And I'm gonna check the front. Actually, this is the back, but again, it doesn't matter. And that is perfect as well. And these look pretty even. I think we're ready to sew these on. Let's do it. All right, you guys, we're on our last step here which is to sew around the, um, the circle to attach our bottoms to our bodice. And if you are going to be using the clear elastic, I just set the spool or the end or whatever you have, I just set it in my lap and I have enough slack and it is going to start underneath 
all the way underneath here. And so I actually like to pull mine all the way through the back here so that when I am getting started, um, I don't have any issue um, making sure that it's getting started underneath my seam, anything like that. So I pull mine all the way to the back. Um, as you get around, you can just cut this off because um, it's not going to be sewn down. Um, and that's no problem there. Okay, so I am going to do the bubble first. And I'm going to start on the side seam. And all we're doing here, you guys, is we are just sewing these two raw edges, or if you get to the back, because we do have the cross back, um, you'll have three raw edges, two that are the bodice and one that is our gathered bottom, bubble bottom. We are just going to slip this underneath and most likely our elastic will probably move on us. Look at that, it didn't. It's my lucky day, I should go buy a lottery ticket. Um, and what we're gonna do, we've got these all the way under and we're just gonna serge all the way around this circle. Now, what this elastic does is just adds an element of stabilizing your gathers so that over time they don't really like stretch out and you don't get a wavy seam. As we're sewing this on, it is literally just a stabilizer. It is clear elastic, but you don't need to stretch it. Just let it be pulled right into the seam. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am just going to straighten this up and I am gonna let my knife cut off just the smidgey edge here of this, just to make sure that, um, because I did gather with my serger, um, I want to make sure that none of this is going to show on the right sides once um, I have it surged. So just a smidge, just a tiny little bit, which is basically enough to make sure that um, the new seam allowance we're doing is um, further over than the gather seam allowance. So I'll just be cutting the little smidgiest smidge off as I surge around. Uh oh, I don't have my knife on. Shoot, earlier when I was, whatever I did last, I forgot to turn my knife back on. All right, so we'll have a little cleanup to do right on the beginning of that seam when we get to loop back around.
right, and as we come back around here, what I'm gonna do is trim off where we started and find enough that will overlap and just trim what I need to finish the edge. And remember, we're gonna have to trim some of this off when we started because I didn't have my knife on. So we've got this all lined up. Let's finish, finish this up. All right, we're back now where we started. So I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of this that we missed right in the beginning when my knife was not on. Um, and then we'll overlap and we'll be done. All right, I think that's enough there. I am going to flip my knife off and then just overlap here just a little bit. All right, now with my needles up, I'm gonna move this to the back and serge off. going to end up with another tail thread here that we will want to tuck in. All right, I am going to set this aside. I'm going to set this one aside and I am going to um, do the other one as well. Okay, now I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm also still going to use the clear elastic. I do want to um, turn my knife back on. And I'm going to repeat the same process with my um, bubble that has the pants. So I'm going to do that now. I am going to just show it to you in... Um, fast version and then we'll take a look at what these look like on the mat and that's it all she wrote so i am going to start on the side seam again
Okay, you guys, here's our finished rompers. Look how perfect our gathers look with this stabilizer. We're all finished. Here is the back and the back of our crossbody. These turned out beautifully and I had so much fun um, showing you guys the ins and outs of making this pattern. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Be sure to upload your styled photos into the album and the Samantha Marie Design um, Facebook group for your chance at our prizes from this sew along. Thank you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more sew alongs in the future and more how-to videos. Bye!